And so my life lesson, yes. Miss Asteria Tissa taught me all the good things like Imam Ali salam would teach someone principalized. Thank God for that. Yeah, so some of these people in my childhood I've come across, they just don't have the shame. They had no integrity to say, yes, it's our fault. To explain to a child in a way uh, that, uh, you know, later on I've seen in foreign movies, American movies, British movies, I've seen, uh, mostly in British movie, I've seen. The British are more down to earth and uh, the, they are more true, i found. If they don't like something or uh, they have a way, they are level-headed and they are honest. The British are more honest than the Americans, i found out. And they're more, more down to earth than the Americans. And they don't show off. They don't make such a big deal about their freedom and uh, love and all that. So yes, I'm comparing uh, because uh, this is what I've seen. It's not out of malice. It's just my observation, my opinion. You may think otherwise, uh, but I would prefer to be in London rather than in the United States of America. Uh, this is uh, because how I was treated in Karachi American School and how my love and my pure relationship with Miss Dissa uh, was treated. And then, yes, uh, the bad part of uh, my separation with Miss Dissa was that whenever I would go through a bad day, and that was a lot of times, moments, I would uh, curse the very existence. I was so depressed and I couldn't accept. I was so shocked that I had to keep going there for reconciliation and uh, things like that were leading me uh, to become really, uh, you know, against life itself, have a, ver a very uh, negative view of life and people. But could this be a reality? Could this reality be made by others? Our enemies, the jealous people, uh, the wealthy people who manipulate things and think they own the world and it is uh, for them to live and for us to die and keep dying. So no, no, we have to accept one thing. We have to accept that there are uh, these jealous people who put obstacles in our lives. And uh, we've got to see it, how they make our lives miserable. I mean, there was a time I was not, I was living, uh, wouldn't blame others for my life and what has happened in my life. But now it's the other way around. So like a, uh, Jai Sadhguru, he told us uh, that uh, the events of life we cannot change. As someone may be very influential, powerful, wealthy, cunning, conniving, uh, may have used you, may have used you, uh, taken advantage of our goodness or whatever it could be our weakness, our, our vulnerabilities, and we've got to see it. We've got to see where the person 
is being done wrong, oppressed. We've got to see the evil woman, the evil grandmother, the evil person, the jealous this and the jealous that. If we move away from them, even then they've, they are able to come after us and uh, manipulate things in ways uh, that would be for their benefit and our loss. So if you're trapped and life has treated you unkindly, very cruelly, and uh, so you feel that no one understands you and that uh, the reality of life has been uh, washed, you know, whitewashed. One day you must see your devil, this devil in your life that has cast all these spells on you and has made your life miserable. You shall see this devil in the eye and uh, defeat it. Say, I no more fear you. You will no more harm me. I'm above you. Maybe as it was too much for me, I used to sleep a lot. Sleep was my escape. I didn't want to have antidepressants. And then I don't know, uh, Mother Mary, Hazrat Maria Malay Salam, sent me this bread through a little girl in my dream. And when I had this bread, uh, something happened to me. It was a great change. The memories would not hurt me and I could face the emptiness in my life. And I once, uh, this is like, I just told myself, this is the first time I told myself that I can live without Miss Dissa. This was a miracle of my life. These words, having to tell myself. And so I didn't dread anymore that those beautiful years of a beautiful relationship that I had with Miss Dissa were gone. And um, today was a day without Miss Dissa. I could clearly see the day without Miss Dissa now. And it was um, a grace of God. But what I've learned and uh, changed and my mind has opened, however, I don't know if uh, losing Miss Dissa was really good for me. Uh, it's never something that God would want. That's why I asked her, did you, did God tell you to leave me? And she said, no. And I know, I believe inside that God would never, ever tell someone to leave a relationship uh, that is pure, uh, that is pure and we're building uh, when right now, like we're building this community, this global family. Um, so how, this is a godly cause. It's what God wants us to be. Uh, in loving kindness, understanding hearts, helping one another, having a community that cares for each other, not only just for the career, money-minded and all that. So my dreams could be coming true, uh, like uh, Dr. Uh, Deepak Chopra is doing and Oprah Winfrey is doing in America. And then there are people, I'm sure, in London who are doing this, but... Um, the British are very reserved and they don't uh, talk about it much. They just show their side, which is uh, realistic. Uh, they, 
they don't show off. Uh, this doesn't mean that I'm uh, putting uh, Dr. Deepak Chopra down or anything like that. Uh, please understand. Uh, this just um, means that some people, uh, like the British, are very, uh, some, uh, they are different people. It doesn't mean, uh, sorry, I got this message. So I don't have to explain myself, I hope not, and no one gets offended. But we do have some really great uh, people in London. Um, I lived there in my childhood for two and a half, three years. And uh, then later on, uh, we used to go for vacations there. And then later on, in, for my higher studies, I went to London. Uh, so um, I know that the British are very honest people, very down to earth. And uh, they don't uh, really sh express themselves uh, in a way, they're not very expressive. But they are very realistic and they're very reserved. However, the hearts are very, very good. They are just themselves. And then, uh, who am I? to talk like this, but I feel now I should, and I've been feeling this, that uh, I salute the British people more than I do the Americans. And these British people, they will never take you for a ride. And so, yes, coming back to my life and the lessons that I've learned and would like to give out, I know that this may not help someone. Maybe, just maybe, a little girl out there who, like me, watches TV and uh, is allowed to go on the internet. Firstly, my prayers for them who could be misled and misguided and oppressed in childhood by their own grandmothers, grandparents, or parents uh, that uh, I don't know what to say, but uh, my prayers and uh, grace of God, and that uh, no child uh, is born bad. And it's just very, very sad when the families don't take responsibility. If they don't help, at least they should not interfere and do evil things to the children. Of course, we should take loving ways and uh, not the harsh way. And so, I don't know about others, but I know that uh, my mother did punish me, although uh, because of the environment and all, and I never disrespected her. Even when she was hitting me with the hanger, I never disrespected her. I never shouted at her at that time in my early teens. Uh, just once I told her, uh, no more, uh, because now I've grown up, and please don't hit me anymore. And that just stopped her from punishing me with hangers. And um, thank God I realized that uh, when I realized that uh, my cousin, the one I was supposed to marry um, in childhood, as my name was with him, uh, in the Arab culture and custom, uh, we get married to our cousins and all. Uh, so this was done to me. And then when I realized uh, that he was uh, a disloyal 
and despicable person. Then uh, neither did I talk about him to my friends. I just made up my own mind that I'm not going to uh, waste my time with this person. And I realized during the separation of Ms. Dissa uh, that this person is too weak to bear any kind of pain and to be your companion at your side. So I just left him like one would leave, drop a hot potato. So my daughters, I'm not married, but I'm still saying daughters. Actually, I'm supposed to say sisters, brothers. Uh, my message is uh, don't cry for such people. They're not worth it. Uh, if you have to cry, God will make you cry for a pure relationship. Uh, for losing someone true and uh, not for these, you know, romantic, uh, stupid kind of uh, things. Uh, however, we say that romance is good for in marriage. Uh, once you are committed to someone and someone loves you and gives their life to you for sharing, caring, and being together, and that's how it should be. So go for that person, uh, not for the person who wants to just have fun in life with women, a playboy kind. It's not worth it. If you lose that person, it's like losing a disease. So thank God that you uh, got rid of the disease in your life.